On behalf of Madeline and Kevin, I would like to thank you all for being with us today. You are among a group that they love very much, and I know they are beyond grateful to have you here finally today. Wow, we just started. <laughs> I'd like to also, we'd like to welcome everyone to the Big Bear. This was our second home for 12 years. Lots of great memories, but uh, we just had great times up here as a family. And for Madeline and Kevin to pick this as their location, uh, again, I would call it as, as a perfect place. So, wonderful day. Right here in Big Bear around eight years ago, I was dreaming of different ways to ask you out. <laughs> Even now, through all this craziness, isolated from our closest friends, family, and passions, we're still having the best times of our life, simply supporting each other. has always known what she wants. Yeah, get it, girl. And she, of course, uh, took up the sport that me and my family were very big into, and that's ski racing. I ski raced for 25 years, and to have Madeline do the same was very special. And all those car rides together, all those trips together, Kevin, you are an inspiration. You do know how to love deeply, and you know how to be happy. I think Kevin is one of the most consistent people that I've ever met. His friends are, in fact, a big part of what he defines as family, and it's very difficult to get in that inner circle. And once you're in, you're in for life. So consider yourself lucky. He is so predictable. I think we could have predicted that Maddie was going to be part of our family from the beginning based on his definition of loyalty, friendship, and what he sees in other people. I think it's very impressive how your love and desire to get married is a greater force than a global pandemic. <laughs> Blue House was the first place they met. In fact, it's even where they took their first photo. They talked the entire night. From this initial meeting to a random road trip from here back to Denver, they started to spend a lot of time together. Who knew that trip would be the start of all your adventures? It showed on that first road trip and it shows to this day. Your excitement for one another, your genuine happiness in the presence of each other, and your love for one another. Kevin, <laughs> from day one, your big, big smile and love for life made me want to spend all my time with you. I'm so incredibly happy to have had your big, big smile with me the past eight years. And now to be able to keep smiling back at you for the rest of our lifetime together. Finally. <laughs> As the great Lester Sinkman always said, life is an attitude, and I know that life with you will forever be good at. <laughs> I love you. I know I speak for everyone here. It's a joy to be in your audience. Cheers. Cheers. And with that, it's with so much love and enthusiasm <laughs> that I announce these two husband and wife. Kiss the bride.
you know, father his whole life. Thinks about who his, you know, who his daughter might be with or who he might marry. And when we find out it's Kevin Brooks, I mean, it's hitting the lottery. I mean, you're such a good man for, for so many reasons. Um, Madeline, I held your hand for a long time, but I held you in my heart forever. I love you so much, Madeline. I love your laugh, your smile. I promise to love you, always be your best friend, take you on adventures, support your dreams, challenge you, honor you, strive to make you happy, be loyal, put you first. I love you, I love us, I love our family. I'm so excited about our future adventures. traditions around the world and one that I have found really fun is the tradition of the bridal cup so I would like to do another toast and I would like Kevin and Maddie to share their first drink at the same time from the same cup yeah.